I told y'all recently that um, I was suspended on Facebook. Why? <laughs> did, did I say something mean and nasty against the, the woke crowd? Well, yes, I have said a lot of stuff about the woke crowd. That I wouldn't say it's nasty, <laughs> but I would say it's maybe um, pretty critical. Yeah, um, but I don't think I was being mean or nasty or anything like that. But no, that's not what got me suspended, being critical of the woke mob. No, no, that, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, what got me suspended from Facebook was I was impersonating myself, they said. They said, you know, your Facebook page, you're 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 impersonating this celebrity known as Michael Lofton. I'm thinking, what? Huh? Huh? This is my page that I've had for years. What are you talking about? I am Michael Lofton. So I got it lifted, right? They were they were able to reverse the deal, get me back on Facebook. And right here in front of everybody on, on Reason of Theology, I did a video asking myself for permission, just so that we don't have any issues moving forward, right? Just so that Facebook is okay moving forward. Just so we're all clear, I have permission from Michael Loft and myself to post material on Facebook, all right? So we went through that whole thing. And shortly after that, I got suspended again. <laughs> Why? For impersonating Michael Lofton again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is this? This is clearly some kind of troll, probably a Candace Owens uh, cult follower, probably, most likely, um, who's flagging my channel and doing that. And so I go to kind of reverse the deal, right? Just like I did last time to dispute it, appeal it, and get it restored. Last time it took like five minutes to do, okay? So I go to do it again, and it doesn't give me that option because it thinks it has already resolved the issue because of a couple days ago, it resolved that issue. But this new issue is a new one that has taken place since then. But it doesn't give me that option because it thinks it's already been done. So, in other words, in order to get my page restored on Facebook, I would have to just get in touch with Facebook, like go out of my way to get in touch with them. And I'm just not doing that anymore. Because it's pretty much dead. I, I think Facebook is done. It's over. Who really uses Facebook anymore? I didn't see a whole lot of activity on there anywhere. So I'm probably just going to leave it. And um, I, I suspect pretty soon I'll do a show where we will together delete the RNT Facebook page uh, because I'm boycotting them <laughs> for this kind of stupidity. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at the uh, results of the survey. I did one on Twitter and one here on YouTube. The results were effectively the same, so I'll just share this one. Um, okay, so you should be able to see it right around now. By the way, I do, again, want to remind y'all, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Go ahead and hit that button for me. I've been looking at the analytics. The vast majority of the viewers who are watching the show regularly have not hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and do that for me. I would appreciate it. TJ Bowman, by the way, thank you for that super chat. He says, stop breaking the rules. Michael Lofton impersonating Michael Lofton already always or often portrays a significant integrity issue. This is true. This is true. I will repent of this. I'll mention it in my next confession. Hey, thanks for watching that highlight clip. If you want to watch the full video, click on the link in the show notes. By the way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to support this channel, a great way to do it is patreon.com forward slash reason and theology. You'll also get access to extra patron only content. Check it out now. Patreon.com forward slash reason and theology. God bless.